Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Shiba Inu using your Windows 10 or 11 base computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the Shiba Inu that you are mining today in 2025. And before we dive in, I do want to make sure to ask you to hit the like button and consider subscribing to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. It really does support the videos that we make here. And if you're looking to support us even further, there are those channel memberships, which any support is greatly, greatly appreciated. So before we dive into the tutorial, I always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, crypto's had a really good day, up about 2.33% to a total market cap of 3.36 trillion. And we are finally starting to see some green in the top 10. Now the week charts are still a little bit mixed, uh, leaning red, but the 24 hour chart is looking really good. So it's nice to see uh, crypto prices, especially Bitcoin, starting to move up towards, you know, that 100,000 mark and all time highs again uh, as we kind of get into 2025 and the expected bull run. Now, scrolling down just a little bit further, we find Shiba Inu here at number 16 on coin market cap with a market cap of about 12.8 billion dollars. So right now that's up about 2.17% today. But if we click into this, you can see that uh, taking a look at the all time chart here, Shiba Inu back in 2021, the previous bull run was up around four zeros and then seven, four, eight, eight. Uh, you know, some sources say it was up around, uh, you know, uh, over that zero, uh, four zeros and then an eight mark. But either way, um, you know, it is really nice to see that all time high as a goal for this bull run. So basically that means that if you think Shiba Inu can get back up to that all time high, now is a really good time to get in because there is a three to four X potential. And that's only if it gets back to that all time high. So how do you go about mining this coin? You might be thinking Shiba Inu is not a mineable coin. Well, we are actually using a site called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with the site, a quick overview of this program is basically it allows you to pick an algorithm that's profitable for your specific hardware. So if you're mining with a GPU that might be a couple years old, you're mining with a CPU, or you're even mining on a Mac, this uh, platform has the algorithm for you. It allows you to use hardware that's older, not ASICs, to mine profitably and get paid out in coins that aren't traditionally mineable such as Shiba Inu. So in this case, I'm going to be using uh, the Kapow algorithm, which on this site, Kapow algorithm is a Ravencoin based mining solution, meaning that when I choose this and set it up and in the end of the video here when we're mining, I'm actually mining Ravencoin on the Kapow algorithm, but I will be getting paid out in Shiba Inu. So it's pretty cool to see that uh, work out. Now, to get started, the link is in the description below. I highly recommend using that link because it will save you 25% on your pool mining fee, which I'll talk about here in just a minute, or go ahead and navigate to unminable.com. What you'll do is then select get started with our wizard. It's got two options, basic and advanced. I always recommend going with basic since it's good enough for 99% of what uh, people are looking to do, but advanced is there if you're interested. Now I'm going to be going the GPU route, but if you're following along with a Windows computer uh, that just has a CPU or you're looking to mine on a Mac, choose that CPU option. Here's where you choose the algorithm that's best for your hardware. If you're not sure what that is, go out to whattomine.com. Check that out. They've got a ton of great algorithms. Um, you know, they do all the calculations for you and let you know what's best to use. I'm going to be using Kapow. Here's where you choose the coin that you want to get paid out in. Of course, we're going with Shiba Inu, but there are over 90 different coins on the site. 
Now you'll go ahead and enter in your Shiva address. And I want to take a second to say, please double and triple check this address. As with all things in crypto, if the address is wrong, you won't get paid. Now, this will work completely fine if this address is wrong. Um, it, it won't give you any errors. It will let you mine. It will show you you're, you're getting paid, your stats and all that. But when they go to send the money, of course, it won't show up in your wallet. So I'd hate to see you mine and then not be able to get paid out. So once that's correct, go ahead and say next. And the final window here before getting started mining is the referral code. Now, if you use the link down below, you'll notice my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated. If you didn't use the link and still want to get that discount, the code is Bitcoin dash tips, capital B, capital T. Using this code will reduce your pool fee by 25%. Um, and basically what that means is here on Unminable, there's a 1% pool mining fee. So for every 100 Shiba Inu coins that you mine, one of those coins is going to go to Unminable. Now, when you use the code, you actually reduce that down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 25, uh, 0.25 coins for every 100 that you mine that would have otherwise gone to Unminable. So it might not be a ton, but every little bit helps. And by reducing that fee, it allows you to build your holdings faster. So you're in a better position for the bull run. So feel free to use that or continue without it. Now, the final step is downloading everything and getting started. Now, I personally recommend Gminer. They have a ton of other options in miners here, but Gminer is the one that I personally use. It supports both major GPU manufacturers, and I've had a lot of really good luck with it. So that's why I like to recommend it. So what you're going to do is select download miner files. This will take you to the GitHub where you download this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. If you don't do the extraction step, you will get an error right when you go to start this. So if that's something that you're experiencing, make sure you didn't miss that step. Once you've got everything extracted, come back over to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file button. And you'll notice here that Chrome calls this out and says, hey, this is not a verified file. Are you sure you want to download this? You will have to go ahead and say, yes, download unverified file. Now, if this is something you're not comfortable doing, go ahead and select delete from history. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this. If you're okay with that, go ahead and download it. Then all you have to do is drag and drop this into the file uh, with all of the, or I'm sorry, into the folder with all of the files that you just extracted. So as you can see here, I have unminable, sheeb, kapow, gminer.bat. And at this point, all you have to do to get started is double click this .bat file. Now you will notice Windows protected your PC. This pop-up comes up. Good news is this only comes up the first time you start the file, but again, you will have to say more info and run anyway. Again, if this is something you're uncomfortable doing, simply select don't run, go ahead and delete the files, and maybe check out some of my other videos about faucets and cloud mining where you don't actually have to download anything to your computer. But if this is something you're okay with, go ahead and say run anyway. And just like that, we're about eight minutes and 20 seconds in. We are up and running mining Shiba Inu using my RTX 3070 in less than 10 minutes on Windows 11. So it's really that simple. It's that quick. Um, we did take a few minutes at the beginning to look over some coin market cap stats and still in less than eight minutes, we got up and running. So a few final things I want to mention when you start mining here, it does take uh, maybe 15 to 30 minutes roughly uh, for your stats to show up in the pool. That's completely normal, but if you don't see anything after about an hour or two, uh, you know, you may have something configured incorrectly. I'd first start by, you know, recommending that you check your addresses, make sure everything got copied and pasted correctly. But if that doesn't work, feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And on the other side, when you're ready to be done mining, you want to play some games or just simply turn off your computer, go ahead and find the CMD window and hit the red X. Once that window is closed, you are no longer mining. Now you may be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? Well, with Unminable, when you close the window, you actually continue to see payments and even stats show up in the pool for up to 12 hours or longer after stopping that miner. Now, I've seen the question before of, hey, I've closed the miner, but it's still paying me. Is it mining in the background? You can rest assured that if that window's closed, you are no longer mining. 
I personally have stopped a miner, turned off the computer, and unplugged it from the wall. There was no way for that computer to be mining, and I was still getting paid the next morning over 12 hours later. So it's a weird thing, but I do like to mention it because I've seen the question before. So with that being said, if you do run into issues at any point during this whole process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you haven't already, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.